Direct Log is one of the biggest breakthroughs Motion Cam has had since it was created. I genuinely never thought it would be possible to record a video based on your phone's raw camera data. If you haven't seen my previous tutorial, you might want to start there because I'll be skipping a few details I've already mentioned from the last video. But if you want to start your motion cam journey on this video, it's cool. It should still be able to help you get you on your feet and start shooting. Welcome and let's go. To start, let's run through a quick compatibility check. First off, not all phones are compatible with motion cam. Most compatible devices are phones with Snapdragon chips. However, there are some phones that can record in RAW flawlessly, but for some reason won't work with direct log. A few examples I've seen mentioned are the Samsung S9, S10, and S20. My suggestion is to at least be on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 phone for direct log. The newer the better because direct log takes a lot of processing power to run. But if you have an older chip that works with direct log, let everyone know in the comments because I'm curious too. To access direct log, just tap on the topmost bar on the bottom left side of your screen and choose direct log video. Below the direct log video bar, you'll see four bars for different settings. They are the lens, resolution, frame rate, and general settings. I've gone over the settings in my previous tutorial, so I'm just gonna cover the absolute basics here. On the lens bar, disable noise reduction, sharpness, and tone mapping. On the resolution bar, set the capture resolution to 4K or 3840 by 2160. Set recording path to any folder you like. On raw output configuration, I suggest choosing raw 10. For audio, I prefer unprocessed for post-processing, but for everything else, you can use the camcorder preset. On frame rate, I suggest 24, 25, or 30, but choose the frame rate your phone can support. On general settings, enable audio meter and level meter. Now, let's go through the main video settings for direct log on top of your screen. If you're a seasoned camera operator, you should already know what you want and what these mean. And if you're new, don't sweat it. At the end, I'll set you up with a good starter setting. So in this section, you need to understand four things, video codec, bit depth, transfer function, and chroma denoise. The video codec is basically the format your video will be saved in, your typical MP4 or MOV files. The three main codecs you should see here is HEVC, H.264, and ProRes. If you're wondering what 8-bit and 10-bit mean, they're basically how much color information is available in the video. Higher bit means more color and is generally better for color grading in post. As you can see on my phone, the only way to shoot 10-bit in direct log is by shooting on ProRes. That's because the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 doesn't have a 10-bit hardware encoder. The transfer function is basically the color profile, which is also relevant if you're color grading in post. Chroma denoising helps clean up those ugly color patterns that appear in low light or high ISO settings. Okay, for everyone who's new, here's a good setting to start with. On video codec, choose H.264, hardware 8-bit 420. On the transfer function, set it to Rec. 709. Set the chroma denoising to 25%, and finally, bring the maximum bitrate up to 100. So this is how the direct log video looks uh, straight out of the camera on my S22 Ultra. It might not look as good as raw, but definitely 100% better than a lot of stock cameras out there. In fact, I might go as far as saying it looks better than the iPhone videos. So yeah, it's as simple as that. I hope the video helped and subscribe if you found it useful. Now go, make videos.